Great Baby's beef with Young and Ace and ATK members from Jacksonville is heating up and things are getting worse. So after a brief back and forth all week, Brick Baby went on a No Jumper show to announce that Young and Ace and ATK members are banned from Atlanta, the Carolinas, LA, among other places. 60s, I bet you Young and Ace don't do no, until we holler, yeah. I bet you don't do no shows in Atlanta. Because mm -hmm. I'm the king around that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you won't be doing no shows in Atlanta. You won't be doing no shows in the Carolina. Nothing around there, mm -hmm. bro. Like, come on, man. Like, like I ain't even tripping because your boys is getting it. That clip went viral. So people from Atlanta began to chime in on Brick Baby's claim that he's the king of Atlanta. One of those being T.I. Sun King, where he says king of what? Brick Baby will respond back, letting King know that he's going to call his daddy and his daddy is going to tell him about Brick Baby. Now, it was unclear whether or not Brick Baby actually called T.I., but King will actually take to Instagram to address Brick Baby, calling himself the king of Atlanta and banning Young Yanez and ATK members from coming to Atlanta and the Carolinas. I've been trying not to respond to this, bro, because I'm trying to work for myself, bro, but if anybody feels some type of way or got something to say to me, please call my phone. My phone. My father's a very busy man. He ain't got time for bullshit. And my thing is, when they call him, what are they going to say? They're not going to say nothing crazy about me. They're not going to get gangster. So what's going to be said? Like, you know? And, you know, we tapped in all different kind of ways. So I'm just confused on what that's going to do. And it ain't nothing personal to me. I was just saying what the city was thinking. That's it. I was just saying what the city was thinking. I don't think the city would would agree with that. You know? We damn near kind of know the same people. King wouldn't be the only one upset that Brick Baby was banning people from their city because a man by the name of Wale Intern, who's apparently from the Carolinas, made a video going off on Brick Baby for banning ATK members from doing shows in the Carolinas. Yo, it's your boy Wale Intern. Yeah, I'm about to crash out on this boy Brick Baby out here trying to speak on the Carolinas. I don't know what's wrong with him. Like I said, I want my fade. Yo, Flacco done probably done told you. Raymond done told you. He hit me back talking about, you know people out here. Bro, who you know out here? Because ain't nobody going to give you that green light to say something going on out here. You ain't from out here. Like I said, you need to get punched in the mouth. That's all I'm trying to tell you, man. Don't speak on nothing out here. You don't know nothing about what's going on in the Carolinas and how we move. You come out here, we're going to snatch your chain. Like I said, it's the reason why people respect us out here. Like I said, I'm not scared of no no jumper. I'm not Kyrie. If a no jumper nigga got smoke, I'm gonna get it. I want it. Like I said, if anything, you banned from the Carolinas. You can't come here. You come out here, your chain gonna get snatched. And that's on everything. Keep the Carolinas out your mouth. I'll be real with y'all, man. I like both these guys. I like Brick Baby. I like Wale Inter, man. But that's not the most believable press, bruh. Like, I feel like Wale Intern could have tried a little harder, man. All right, to press. That's not the most believable press, bro. It's out like if I was Brick Baby and I got that message from somebody, bro, I wouldn't feel terrified to come to North Carolina or South Carolina, right? I just wouldn't, bro. That don't sound like a believable press, all right? But while I intern could be serious, who knows? That's just my opinion. All right, now even though the ATK members were effectively banned from the Carolinas, man, by the mayor Brick Baby, they showed up. All right, they showed up and they posted on their stories that they were doing a show in North Carolina. Bro, they was having a good old time, bro. They outside taking shots, performing on stage, messing with the hoes. I'm going to be real, bro. All right, these dudes are either dumb or they got something under their sleeves, man. Because how are you this comfortable in the Carolinas? After Brick Baby being you, bruh. Do they not know, bruh, right, that Brick Baby is the mayor, that Brick Baby is like a six-star war general, bruh, right, that Brick Baby is a veteran in this, man. How are you this comfortable, bruh, passing out shots, all right, grabbing the cheeks of the women, bruh, right, pouring Don Julio 
in each other's mouths, bro. Do you not know that you are banned from the Carolinas, bro? Right, that Brick Baby got a no-fly zone out for you guys, man? As the clips began to go viral, man, folks was asking Brick Baby, didn't you ban these dudes, bro? Yo, they're in North Carolina right now, bro. Yo, 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 did you know this? Brick Baby would assure the world that he knew this. He would assure, yes, I knew they was there. The mayor knew they were there, but I gave him a pass. Uh, on the dead homies, I can tell you what studio you went to. I can tell you how fast you got up out there show last night and all that, cuz. The message wasn't for, for you to get whacked. It's to let you know our presence, cuz. On 6-0, I know you seen all them S hats and all that while you was at the studio, cuz. You was at the homie studio. We let you get up out of there, gang. On the dead homie. On the ass big Carolina, I told him don't say nothing. Dead homie. <laughs> So we ain't killing nothing. Break Baby the mayor would assure the world, man, that he gave them a pass. That they came through, he got the location and the drop everywhere they went, bruh. Right? That his folks didn't take their eyes off of Young and Ace. That from their hotel to the studio, back to their hotel, back to the shows, every inch they took, man. Break Baby said he had his folks watching them the entire night and he had the drop and he could have ended their lives like this but he didn't because he's a compassionate gangster he's not gonna take him out bruh because why would he it's not really that deep they're not his ops bruh these are just some young kids who were talking trash online man trolling him right you feel me man All right so bring me say you know what bruh i'm gonna you know offer some 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 compassion today and if you don't believe me, if you don't believe that I had eyes on you every night, well, hit up one of your homies, Big Carolina. Now, Big Carolina is apparently a figure in North Carolina who apparently chopped it up with Brick Baby that night. Now, Big Carolina, I'll be real, bro. Like, I'll be 100%, bro. Like, I don't know if Big Carolina, man, is even invested into this drama or beef. Or if Big Carolina just want a no-jumper interview, all right? Because Big Carolina will respond back to being put in the mix. And his response, it gave off, man. He want a no-jumper interview, man. Brit Baby and Young and Ace situation spilled over into my world when Brit Baby made a statement about North Carolina. And I was supposed to be going to Young and Ace show in Fayetteville last night. Once I see North Carolina saying, Young and Ace, and he sends me to say, Brit Baby, I'm like, okay, I guess I'm standing in the mother house tonight i ain't about to be young ace i'm trying to get him up skidding y'all know fairville don't play that way fairville not one of them areas you finna come playing that you finna it's over with and my boy hussein he working at the event i don't want him to get caught no crazy crossfire nothing you know what i'm saying so i make my statement and brit baby here he hit me up like yo that wasn't what i was trying to do you know what i'm saying i just crossed the path the wrong way and i see what you saying and he corrected me about he don't support North Carolina. So that's why I say, all right, y'all, my bad. He do support North Carolina. He knows, you know what I'm saying, he knows what's going on. Me and bro, we sat on the phone for like two hours, type, you know what I'm saying, chopping it up, like talking to North Carolina. Shit, we'll, we'll be going on with the music scene and stuff like that. And I was telling y'all to chill out because I got something up my sleeve where I might around and go to No Jumper and show who the hot is all over the whole state from producers, engineers, cameramen, vloggers, chefs, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? So just chill. I'll be real, man. It sounds like Brick Baby sold that man a dream, bro. I'll be real, Big Carolina. You might get a No Jumper interview, all right? You may be able to come on No Jumper and pop your ish, man, but it won't be about <laughs> no North Carolina artists, bro. Listen, we love the North Carolina artists, bro, but I don't think No Jumper is about to give you an interview solely based on Who's popping in North Carolina? That's not how that works, all right? We need to know who you done shot, who you done robbed, all right? How many bodies you got. There's no interviews being done about who's popping in North Carolina, right? But nonetheless, though, Brick Baby uh, and Big Carolina will hop on IG Live. And when they hop on the live, Big Carolina would actually confirm that Brick Baby told him every location Young and Ace and them were at. Like, he legit planned out their entire night with Big Carolina before they even got there. So apparently Brick Baby had the drop on Young and Ace and ATK because he gave their entire itinerary to Big Carolina and Big Carolina watched them go to each place that Brick Baby told him about. Oh, I, did I? Okay. You never...
never told me not one location. Did I not have his whole day planned out already when I talked to you? Look, from, when you from the video shoot on down? Look, when you said you told me his locations, I was like, I'm glad I didn't say nothing crazy out of the way to you. And, and then what I said, uh -huh. I, I didn't, I'm like, God, God damn, like, what the fuck? And I'm right there. Yeah, I ain't like I ain't finna play with no nigga. Like it is what it is, though. Like I, I don't beef with cuz. I'm from my nigga. I beef with niggas out here. I got enough beef on my plate, nigga. I don't beef with cuz. That niggas won't. This was this the thing. They want me to beef with some 18, 21 year olds, nigga. I'm 36, gang. I've been whooping shit for years, nigga. On the dead homies, nigga. What I'm telling the nigga is he better respect his elders around this nigga, son. <laughs> If I'm young and ace, man, I got to figure out who gave the drop. Who, yo, because when you're in this lifestyle, man, the back door has to be closed at all times, bruh. The back door can't even be creaked a little bit open. So if Brick Baby had the entire itinerary, then that would mean that somebody from young and ace camp would have given Brick Baby their entire itinerary because that's the only people who would know where young and ace would have been all night. If I'm young and ace, bro, I'm checking that, bro. That's the first order of the night, bro. I'm figuring out who gave Break Baby my itinerary, bro. Because I can't be popping Don Julio shots, dissing Julio Fulio, talking about you digging up Mr. Six. And then you could have possibly went out the same way Fulio went out. Oh, nah, 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 nah. That would have been bad. Like, really bad. All right. Now, Break Baby hopped on live with an ATK member. And Brick Baby essentially told him, because apparently this member has been tapping in, you know, to various rappers who've been to L.A. to find out about Brick Baby. And so Brick Baby warned him, Brad, like the rappers you're tapping in with, I've robbed all of them, right? We took all their chains. So they can't tell you nothing about me, you know, being sweet because, you know, that would be a lie. All I'm saying is, cuz, it ain't no place in America that you could ban us from, cuz, including L.A., cuz. We have emotion in L.A. We have a blitz in L.A. We having talks in L.A. July, you saying, cuz, and we slang on. You know what we do, cuz. All I'm saying uh, is, and it's the same thing, cuz. All I'm saying is, and I ain't okay. saying that shit. I ain't, I ain't saying that shit. No bitch or you. That shit or any nigga who feel it. Dead homies, go ask all them rap niggas telling you that it's cool, nigga. On the dead homies, nigga. I done had every nigga jury, nigga. On the dead homies, nigga. Nigga come to L.A., nigga. Every nigga, cuz on six show. I know where every nigga hey, look, look, nigga. Hold on, nigga, hold on. Nigga, 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 if I want blood, I can get blood. On any city, where you been at? Any city where the niggas got it, I want it. I'm gonna get it, cuz. I don't know how this is gonna play out. It doesn't really appear that Brick Baby is too dedicated to banning these dudes. Uh, you know, it don't look like he's tripping, but who knows, man? Y'all let me know in the comment section, man. Do you guys think that ATK members are going to survive by the end of the year, man, beefing with Brick Baby? Let me know, right? And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how Pearly thinks Grace quitted her own podcast after Britney Renner went off on her. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.